Hey, it's me, Lisa. That's L I S A. Lisa. Hee -hee. And today I am continuing with my advent calendar stories about princesses. Hee -hee. And I have so far done 18 stories. Wow, that's a lot of fun. And you can watch all those stories on my channel. All you have to do is click subscribe. That's the big red button underneath this video. And now we are going to do the 19th story. That's 19, 1, 9 of December. Let's see what it is. Yay! Wow, look at this. Can you please help me find the number 19? Okay, thank you. Now, where is it? Number 19. No, we have to look for one, nine. No, no. No, no. Look, there it is, number 19. Let's get it out. Ooh, wow, the winter journey. Wow, well, let's see what the winter journey is all about. At autumn's end, the wind blew colder and the last leaves fell from the trees. The crops were harvested and the feasting was over. For Pocahontas and her village, the time had come to travel to their winter camp. Have a look. So here is Pocahontas with her camp. Wow, and they now need to travel. Now let's see what happens next. Where do they travel to? Pocahontas loved her home by the river, but she always looked forward to this trip. The journey meant new adventures and new places to explore. <laughs> Best of all, many different villages from all over Pocahontas nation gathered at the winter camp to work together during the cold months. <laughs> As they walked, Pocahontas stepped off the trail and bent down to examine the cold ground. She saw fresh tracks from an opossum, a family of deer and even a bobcat. Some animals were still out and about in the winter. Moments later, snow began to fall. Wow! <laughs> Pocahontas tipped her head back, enjoying the feeling of snow on her face. We are close, called Pocahontas' father, the chief of the Powhatan. Now have a look at the pictures. So here they are along the trail. Now let's see if they get there. Ah! Pocahontas' village was the first to arrive at the campsite. They hurried to unpack and set up for the winter home. Some villagers made shelters by tying woven mats onto wooden frames. Others started fire for cooking and warmth. That's right, because it would be very cold. <laughs> A group of hunters prepared to find food for the night's dinner. Pocahontas and some others set out to gather firewood. Let's bring back as much dry wood as we can before dark, said Pocahontas. Have a look. So here are the different villagers doing different things to get ready for their winter camp. And then here is Pocahontas heading out into the woods with some other girls from her village to collect wood. Now let's see what happens and if they collect enough wood. Pocahontas strayed further from the camp to search for wood. She loved the quiet of the winter forest and the soft sound of the wind. Wait, she thought, what was that noise? What was that noise? Pocahontas put down her firewood and listened carefully. There it was again. It sounded like crying. Me, crying. She climbed to the nearest tree but couldn't see anything at first. Then she looked down and gasped. Wow, have a look at the picture. So here is Pocahontas climbing up a tree and then she's looking down. Wow, let's see what you saw. A little lost deer was wandering alone in the woods. He was too young to survive on his own and needed to get back to his mother quickly. Pocahontas climbed down from the tree, her moccasins crushed softly in the snow. The fawn looked up and froze. <laughs> Pocahontas 
Swan just held her hand out. It's all right, little one, she said. I'm here to help. Oh, have a look at the little baby. So cute. But whoa, it shouldn't have ever left his mummy. Shut it. Now let's see what happens next. Slowly, Pocahontas reached into her pouch and pulled out some berries. She held them flat on her palm so the breeze would carry the scent to the fawn. The little deer pricked up his ears with interest and Pocahontas gently tossed the berries to him. Have a look. So here is Pocahontas helping the little deer. He's also known as a fawn. That's right. Now let's see what happens next. While the deer happily ate his snack, Pocahontas crept around him until she could see his tracks in the snow. So she was looking for the deer's footsteps in the snow. She had to take the fawn back the way he had come. She dropped a berry on his path. Following the trucks a little further, she dropped more berries and the deer went hurrying after her. Have a look, so this is what Pocahontas is doing. She's dropping berries so the deer follows. Now let's see what happens next. Soon, they came to the bank of a creek. Scanning the icy mud at the water's edge, Pocahontas saw two sets of tracks. One belonged to the baby deer and the other, she thought, must belong to his mother. The mother's tracks continued on the opposite bank. Pocahontas lightly ran across a path of rocks in the creek. Then she put a berry down on the far bank. The deer walked closer and reached out a hoof, then pulled back. He was afraid of the rushing water and that water would be very, very cold and I don't think the baby deer can swim. Patiently, Pocahontas piled more and more berries on the bank. The fawn gazed at them hungrily. Finally, he charged right into the shallow creek. Splash! <laughs> In a few bounds, he was across and sloshing onto the bank. <laughs> Dripping icy water, he looked up at Pocahontas and shook himself happily. <laughs> Have a look at the pictures. So here is the little baby deer crossing the water. Now let's see what happens next. Pocahontas and the deer followed the mother's trail to the edge of the clearing. Pocahontas saw a doe passing back and forth. Is that? She started to ask. But the deer was already galloping across the clearing to his mother. The family was together again. Pocahontas watched, smiling and peaceful. Have a look, so here is the baby deer being reunited with his mother. Oh, how cute. Now, let's see what happens next. A branch snapped behind her. Pocahontas whirled around. There you are, Pocahontas' best friend. Nakoma called to her. You've been gone a while, so I came looking for you. Look, Pocahontas said, pointing. The little one was lost. How sweet, Nakoma said. But we should get back. It's almost dark. Pocahontas brightened. Has anyone else arrived? Three more villagers. Probably more by now, replied Nakoma. Pocahontas nodded. That's the beauty of winter. Have a look at the pictures. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Look, and off the baby deer and the mummy deer together. <laughs> and the little baby deer should know never to leave its mother's side. Now, what happens next? It brings us together. Back at the camp, people from many different Poe Hatton villages were gathered. Everyone seemed to be talking at once. There was so much to catch up on, so many stories to tell. Have a look at the pictures right over here. Everyone is all together. <laughs> People from different villages, but they all come together. Now, final page. Pocahontas snuggled under a blanket by the fire and listened. She was happy to be surrounded by the love and laughter of her family. Seasons changed and calm smoothed. 
but no matter where she rested her head, the land and the families, Pocahontas Falmer always felt like home. The end! Wow, have a look at the pictures. Here's Pocahontas by the fire. What a sweet story. Wow, well, I really love this story about helping others and also the meaning of family and friends and the sense of community. That's very important, especially on Christmas. Now, I will see you in my next video. And you can watch all of my other videos by subscribing. That's the big red button. And Lisa, that's L I S. Hey, Lisa, we'll see you soon. Bye!